I was trellising the cucumbers today and I noticed something out of the corner of my eye about four feet away. When I focused on what it was, I jumped a subsequently equal height straight up in the air. I ran for a jar. That's after she took off and she came back right to the same location. That's when I ran for a jar and my son and I managed to get her captured. It took us over two hours to identify her on the internet. This is an example of the largest species of fly in the entire world. She's called a Midas fly. Biologists don't understand a great deal about them. They know that they are a beneficial insect in that they lay their eggs in the soil and the larvae eat a lot of the nasty grubs. They particularly like June bugs. We are located in southwestern Ontario and there are a lot of June bugs here. So I assume this is a female of the species and that's what she was doing was preparing to lay eggs. She took off the first time, came right back to the same spot. Apparently they're a bit territorial, or quite a bit territorial. Um, the adults don't live that long and biologists assume that they are nectar feeding as well as in that they find them quite, you know, on flowers and devouring pollen and that. But there's a lot of debate as to whether they're, you know, insectivores themselves or whatever. Anyways, uh, subsequently, it took us, as I said, over two hours to identify her on the internet. So I have dubbed her as Matilda the... What the heck is she? She's a Midas fly. It's a Midas fly, and uh, we've just decided that we're going to release her back to the same spot here. So, anyways, here we go. Matilda is going back home. Now I know that from everything I've read they can't sting and they can't bite but I have to admit that the size of this insect is somewhat scary. So my idea that I was going to reach in and grab her I kind of abandoned. And anyways, there you go Matilda. Whoa! And she's gone. Anyways, that's the story of Matilda the Midas fly.